welcome back to a new video and the progression of Iron Glossy and one of the first Mardi Gras celebrations at Busch Gardens. Glad to be here, haven't been to the park in a while, but I'm glad to show you guys around and real excited for this to open. All right, finally found it. Let's go check out what they got for Mardi Gras weekend. Here's the Mardi Gras weekend menu, and here's the food. Uh, I just got in line for my New Orleans dish, and I think I'm getting um, the chicken jambalaya, and we'll also review the beignets. So because of the lack of tables in the New, uh, the, like the New Orleans area, we did come over to Serengeti Overlook to kind of review the food, get a better feel for it. So. It's not that long of a walk, but if you do have a lot of food, there's a few small tables in that area, but out here, there's a lot of big tables, so it's kind of, if you're willing to walk, I totally recommend coming here, plus you get to see an amazing view like this. Just a nice overlook of like Cheetah Hunt, and if you do want to go see this, like the Serengeti, you can just go right up there, you don't have to like even buy food, so just go look, but there is a buffet right up there, so you do have to pay to go in there. So I got the chicken jambalaya, which was $9.99, and then we also got an order of beignets, which were $5. So my review on this was, it's amazing. You wouldn't know it's theme park food. It's more of like, like a restaurant, like restaurant quality and not just like a walk-up booth. And these, I'm getting ready to try. So guys, the beignets actually came out insanely good, and I was a little concerned because they didn't give you any dipping sauce. But they did give me one, two, three, four, six beignets, six like mini beignets. Here's more of a size, this is split in half. And they're super crispy and they're good without sauce, which really did blow me away because I really at first thought they were going to be too dry, but they really are good for $5.99. It's a great snack or like dessert. So I think this is only this weekend, but if you can get around next year, I recommend you do stop by because this is the first year of the Mardi Gras weekend. They're actually giving out Mardi Gras tattoos, like, to people on stilts, and they're pretty cool. Here's the other side of the Mardi Gras weekend, and it seems like some of the actors are actually leaving the area. Look at this chonker. He's so tired. Tired chonker. Look at this chonker. That joke was stolen. <laughs> I've never seen him before. The animal encounters today are pretty good, and look. There's a giraffe and an ostrich. Here's the update on Iron Gauzy. It should be open soon, and I should be trying to come here for some soft openings. But I'm super excited because I actually got to ride Gauzy before it closed. And it's been closed down for a minute now. And now we're back, new and approved. And here's the drop everyone has been waiting for. And everything seems to be good. The only thing I noticed was there is still a crane back there, which means they're still probably doing some track work. But besides that, everything else seems done. As you guys can see, Iron Gwazi is about to get ready to open, and it's looking great. So thank you guys for joining me at another walk around the Bush Gardens. I haven't been there in a while, and I'm really glad I got to go back. I uh, got to see updates on Iron Gwazi, and we got to go to Bush Gardens first Mardi Gras weekend. I really hope they keep doing that because it was cool, like a little celebration. Uh, it only lasts two days, though, so you got to get there. I um, hope you guys can join me on my next adventure, hopefully at Disney, but maybe at Universal, too. So have a good day, everybody.